focus adjusted. Alright, um, where do I get started? Alright, this is probably the first time I'm making a video, so yeah, bad commentary, forgive me for that anyway. So, a lot of people, well, some people have asked how does my USB mod work and the wiring for it. Well, I'll actually show you now. So, first part is the USB minus um, positive terminal. Sorry about the focus, I just fixed that. There we go. So, uh, as you can see, the way I've soldered these, I don't know if you can see, but the line comes top down. So, instead of being soldered directly to the bottom pin here, it comes down on these lines actually. And I found it easier than doing those pins because I had to turn it and just having it up and bent already was easier for me. As for the positive, since all of these pins are pretty much abridged, the 5 volt ones, um, I just sent a wire through, have a wire soldered there. And the reason I use hot glue is these small pins can be very finicky. So what I've basically done is secured them down. For the ground, I... Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I used a different ground pin because it would simply be easier for me. And I ran the wire through here and sealed it off with some hot glue so it doesn't move. Uh, these were tagged down by hot glue, but I think I removed them a second ago because I'm going to be working on it. And then if I move all this messy wiring out of the way, you can actually see the USB flash card, flash card um, board. So I'm using these tiny switches to switch between whether the USB is plugged in to the Vita here or this USB port. Now, the reason I'm using this USB port is temporary because I want to transfer my files without the annoying speed limit. And what I'm basically using, one sec. I'm just gonna pause the video for a second. Back again, um, it messed up, so I'm gonna have to stitch the video together anyway. So what cable I'm using is this cable. Now, it's actually a USB extension, but I've got a USB to USB end on it, and that plugs in and allows me to transfer data. Now, the reason I have to manually switch the data lines, even if the PSV is off, what will happen is I will plug it in here, the computer will recognize that, but then it will try and recognize the chip on the PSV. And that's a problem, because that's like trying to put two devices on one USB port. What I'm doing right now is I'm soldering these smaller switches, so they'll just be going on top of each other. I really need to clean this up. Oh, out of focus again. So these small switches, they'll just be going on, and they actually have a certain way to signify whether it's PSVR or not. As you can see, the position they're in now means PSVR, and then when I flick it, it changes to the other one. So what I actually do is, the steps that I take is to actually change the power first, switch the power to the USB without the USB plugged in, then switch the data lines because I don't want to corrupt it if I'm powering it and then I just randomly cut the data lines, one of the data lines, which is really dangerous. Right now, these three cables are not on because I'm actually changing it to a dip switch. It's quite small. It's like that small and they're just gonna stack up on top of each other but not three I think the max I can do is two and the reason I don't have to do ground is because ground is ground so I don't really have to bother with that because there's nothing sensitive going through ground and the PSV will be off the reason I can't use this when the PSV is on is because it's like trying to mount a USB to two devices at once when the files change it won't be synced to this one to update and the other thing is uh, what was I going to talk about the other problem is I through the proprietary port I couldn't transfer data with Vita Shell and I think that's because um, how UMA0 is mounted and then it's put over UX0 and I couldn't put that redirected UX0 to my computer because it wasn't designed like that this they've just updated the code anyway anyone who's interested in doing this the steps would obviously be solder those wires to those pins and how this works is pin one starts from the very first pin zero sorry starts from the very first pin and then it will go pin one to this side 
so uh, I'm not actually looking so that would be pin 1 pin 0 pin 1 and then pin 2 and 3 as I believe on this so on this side the second and third pin is the USB data lines so the second one is USB minus the third one is USB positive if I I can't remember if I was sure or not anyway so um yeah that pretty much wraps it up and for also how I cut this was I used a exacto knife like one like this but the one I was using was this so you could actually see it's heated so this one and I heated that up and it glided through the plastic like butter but it didn't leave those annoying um, burn marks and then I just seated the USB port you're gonna have to cut through this there till you get to the skin part and you're actually gonna have to cut the PCB now on this piece here you'll see like something like this part here with the antenna plugs in that's useless and another thing is the back case even though I did a really shit job on this you can literally see the burnt plastic you're gonna have to do a tiny cut here and you're gonna have to cut this part quite a bit and there will be a part of the battery part that hangs here you're gonna have to cut that and you just remove this antenna and one of these antennas I believe you don't need because these are the antenna prongs right so anyone who's looking for an extra space now what you gotta do is you've actually just gotta trace them so this one connects to there goes through to here and it goes to the second other layer of the board sorry that wasn't so yeah, that connects to there it goes to the other layer of the board it's not actually on this now um, this antenna actually goes to this one so if I was to say the one the two antennas we don't need is the big one here and this one which doesn't affect your Wi-Fi at all and a uh, little note for PSV or Wi-Fi users who's been asking um, I'm not in charge of anything developing that so it's best not ask me um, there are some people I think are in charge but I won't name them right now because I don't want to redirect people to them even though they're not working on it because that's not my place to be doing that so yeah that pretty much wraps up the mod if you are going to do an SD card you'd have it there but one thing before you do this mod I will actually be designing a plug-in PCB that will use um, no soldering at all so you'll plug it in and you just have to insert a flex cable like these ones in and you'd go to the I'll uh, make an SD like PCB for this as well so it would just go to that you plug it in the everything's optional even the USB the USB might need soldering because if you're gonna have the USB you're gonna cut the case anyway so you should know a bit of soldering and then the internal storage which will be that chip actually just face down on it and if you're asking what chip that is it's a 32 gig cruiser switch I'll just focus and wait for a while so you can see that so yeah that's what that basically is All right, I hope this helps some people um, pretty sure a lot of people already know what they're doing but yeah <laughs>